Hello, this is Jack Jackson. In this video, we're going to continue looking at our uh, investigation of triangle congruence. Okay. In the last video, I asked you to look at these situations and construct triangles with these different measurement conditions in Euclidean geometry. And from that, try to determine which of these conditions is enough to make the triangles congruent. And more generally, how many different congruence classes could possibly happen depending on what measurements we have in these, uh, these different uh, conditions. Now we're going to do the same thing next using technology. I think it's very important to actually do these uh, things uh, yourself and discover what's going on rather than me just tell you the results. So please spend some time to actually complete this exercise if you haven't done it already. Next, we're going to do the same thing using some technology in Euclidean geometry, but also in hyperbolic, spherical, and taxicab geometry. And I've created a bunch of different uh, uh, GeoGebra activities that allow you to look at this. So there's one for each geometry for each of the uh, six things. We have four geometries. That's 20 for um, different app, uh, apps there, plus two more uh, dealing with taxicab geometry. And so if you have my notes, you can just click on these uh, links, should get you there. But let me also show you something that I have a GeoGebra book uh, that's called Geometry Collector Resources. You can search for that if you get to GeoGebra. Just search for uh, Jackson Geometry or Jackson Geometry Collective Resources. It should come up and you can open it. This is available for anybody to look at. And I have different resources here. So just some basics there. These are my basic environments for doing. Uh, this one is for doing hyperbolic and taxi cab and Euclidean geometry. This one's for spherical. Right now this one's a little buggy, but it does try to put all four, all four of the geometries together in one. Here's some things here. This one I did not write, but it does the uh, Poincaré disk model. Uh, these do, I'm using the uh, half plane model, and those are both things for hyperbolic geometry. Some things about distance and order. And if you notice some of these, like this one here, are, is one that I wrote. These are things that other people put together, such as uh, Tim Brzezinski and then also uh, the GeoGebra team and some others. And uh, this is introducing angles here, several things there. And I'm adding to this as we go along, but now where we are now is triangles. So I have one for triangles in Euclidean geometry. I have one for triangles in hyperbolic geometry and then spherical and taxi cab. So you can get to these uh, activities from here too. So let's start with Euclidean geometry. And let me just show you one of these uh, for example, here is, let's, let's do side angle side, for example. So here is the one for side angle side. Click on that. And then uh, when that comes up here, you want to go to open in the app. That's by the, is the best way to do that. So you can make, maximize the use of your screen here. Now, what this does here <clears throat> is we can specify a side length here the size of the included angle. There it is uh, in radians, but it's also converted to degrees and uh, divides that by pi and makes it a multiple of pi there. So you can see fraction multiples of pi there or decimal version in radians and then degrees and then the other side here. So we have side, angle, side. And what this slider does is steps you through a construction of this particular one. So if we just slide through this one step at a time, we start by making a circle of side length, uh, the length of the first side, and we make a point on that. This point is free to move on that circle. This is free to move anywhere. Then we, we uh, what's next? Well, then we uh, make a line segment. So we have the first one there. That is a length 13, like we've got it here. Next, we go and make an angle. And this, this is exactly what you do if you're constructing this 
in uh, with with your physical tools in geometry, right? Uh, you would make your ruler for this side, make your protractor to make this go out. Now we go out on that side a certain length there, and what we notice is that that just touches at one point. So that has to be our last point C, and then we finish up the triangle, and we can measure the sides, and we can measure uh, all of the uh, all of the angles there as well. Now there was another place that they intersected. I said there was just one point. There's actually two. There's one point down here because we could have made that angle go the other direction instead of this way, two possible angles, right? Two possible locations for that angle, same measure. But it turns out that it doesn't really matter because if you look, those are the same size. So the question is, does this always work? If you move, move these around, can you break it to where there, there's no triangle possible? Or is there always one congruence class possible? And so what you want to do is go through every single one of these uh, there and look at that. So there is, uh, let's see, there's one for uh, side, angle, side, angle, side, angle, side, 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 angle, angle, side, 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 angle, 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 angle. And see if you can go through there and, and investigate each of those. But then, not only that, you can now go on, not only in Euclidean geometry, but do the same thing for uh, hyperbolic geometry. For example, here's the same basic construction here, and the steps are more or less the same, except what we're looking at is um, these objects as hyperbolic objects. So once again, this will you pick a, a, a side, an angle, and a side measurements. Go out there, pick a line segment on that circle. This is the center of the circle. That's a line segment in hyperbolic geometry. Hyperbolic distance is the same as what we've given it up here by the slider, or of course that's adjusted by the slider, or by typing in the number here. We do that angle. Again, the angle can be adjusted. And then go out a distance on the circle there. The other one, again, that distance, can, that circle can be adjusted smaller or larger. Okay. And finish it up. Uh, I'm not sure why that's not finishing up correctly. I may have to go back and, and work on, there it goes. It finishes it up there. Some of the hyperbolic stuff's a little bit tricky in building this thing, so it may not work in every particular case, but hopefully it does. But uh, any event, you have it for, have investigations for all of the different uh, different ones there in hyperbolic. Also, same thing in spherical here, and same thing in taxicab geometry. Okay, so um, these are things that you can uh, can look at, and what I've encouraged you to do is actually open each of these take some time to explore with them and see if you can determine which of these conditions is enough to make uh, the triangles congruent in uh, each of these geometries and which ones are not sufficient. And uh, I'll give you a hint, some of them are and some of them aren't. Okay, so uh, look at that and see if you can, can do that. Once you've uh, done that, then hopefully you'll have a good idea for that and then we can come back in our next playlist and we may investigate this a little bit more but I think it's important that you do some of this on your own in this playlist and uh, this would be a homework set, homework task for students in my class.